Hello and welcome to the Orange County Taxpayers Association OC Tax Talk. I'm Carolyn Cavecci, President and CEO of OC Tax, and we are so pleased to have with us today John Kapal from the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, the President and the CEO. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Good. Well, we're thrilled. We're um, huge supporters um, and big fans of the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. Well, well, thank you. And, and, you know, the reality is that the local groups are our eyes and ears at the local level to figure out what's going on. So we hear in Sacramento what's going on statewide. So really appreciate uh, your organization and all the local taxpayer groups as well. Thank you. So let's talk about Proposition 13 today because that's obviously a huge focus for you at your association. So how did Prop 13 start? What caused it to come about? Well, what caused it was runaway property taxes in the state of California. People were literally being taxed out of their homes and uh, not just in small numbers, but in very large numbers. Howard Jarvis was a businessman. He was the executive director of the Apartment Association of Greater Los Angeles, and he worked with others to try to get property tax relief uh, for a number of years. And what people don't realize is that he tried like six or seven times to get tax relief before he he got Prop 13, Uh which is a testament to his tenacious nature. He was a very tenacious man. And um, uh, Prop 13 uh, came, and what's very interesting about Prop 13 is about every major business group was opposed to it, believe it or not. Every education group, labor group, all the editorial boards were were against it, and yet it passed by 66%. Mm -hmm. This kind of reflects the disconnect sometimes between ordinary citizens and what we call political elites. But it's very important today because it helps do what it was intended to do, and that is to keep people in their homes. And it does that by capping the property tax rate to 1%. And it also limits, very important, very uh, just as important as the rate cap, is the fact that it limits the annual increase in taxable value of the home to 2% a year. What was happening in the 70s is that the tax rate could stay the same, but your values were doubling and right. therefore your taxes would double. So very, very important that we have that limitation. Uh, Property is reassessed to full market value when it changes hands. That's basically the structure of 13. It works very well. It uh, keeps people in their home. Uh, One of its shortcomings, however, is he wanted Prop 13 to be a limit on the size and growth of government in California. And unfortunately, on that score, it didn't happen. In California, as you know, we have very big government. Government is a growth industry. We have the highest income tax rate in America, highest state sales tax rate in America, highest fuel costs. The metrics, you know them, Mm -hmm. are horrible. Uh, But Prop 13 continues to this day to be very well revered by most people, uh, by uh, certainly a a big majority of Californians. And of course, it's also appreciated now by the business community because it helps business competitiveness. Very much so. So besides capping the property tax, are there other components to Proposition 13? Sure, there were some voter approval requirements. For example, it was originally intended to impose a two-thirds voter approval requirement for special taxes uh, that are, those are taxes other than property Property. tax. Um, That provision was kind of watered down. It's still there for those kinds of taxes that are dedicated for specific purposes at the local level. Those still require a two-thirds vote. And it also required, and this is very, very important, a two-thirds vote of each house yeah. of the California legislature to impose a state tax. Right. So it had other provisions as well. Okay, so um, I hear a lot at the local level when I go out and talk to some of the community groups, you know, people will say, um, number one, that it's not fair right. that people who bought their homes back in the 70s or the 80s have a lower tax rate than people who just yeah. bought it yesterday. So what do you say to those people? Well, I, I say that your taxes are based on what you were willing to pay for that property at that point in time. Consumption tax. It's a consumption tax. It has some of the some of the same attributes as a sales tax because your 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 tax is based on acquisition Mm -hmm. value. And the United States Supreme Court recognized the value of that provision and in fact we argue that an acquisition value based system is actually more fair than a current value system because what policy is actually being advanced by having your taxes depend on the real estate market, which is something you have no, no control right. over. Yes. So an acquisition value based system, if you're gonna have a property tax at all, the acquisition value system is more fair. And in fact, the United States Supreme Court said it had the 
had the additional beneficial effect of maintaining the integrity of neighborhoods. So there's all kinds of positive policies that flow from Prop okay. 13 that most honest people recognize today. And it doesn't matter if you bought your house in 1970 or, you know, my daughter who might buy a house, you know, next year. Right. You're still protected. You're, you're still protected by the 1% rate. And for recent home buyers, all they have to do is stay in their home for three or four years and they begin to see the benefits from that limitation right. of the annual increases. You know, so they used to be complaining about their neighbors who have been there for a long period of time. Yeah. Just over a little bit of time, they start to see that benefit right. as well. So um, the actual constituency, if you will, for Prop 13 is really about 80% of all property owners because wow. they, you know, again, you just have to be in your home for a short period of time uh, before you see that benefit. And we hear an argument um, about commercial versus residential. So, um, you know, residents um, carry the greater burden of Prop 13 or commercial right. properties carry the greater burden. Have you guys looked at that? Yes, we've looked at that very, very closely. And the fact of the matter is, uh, there has been no real shift to okay. residential properties. The There has been a shift in terms of the total property tax pie that they right. pay. However, that's largely due to land use issues. As California's manufacturing has moved out of the yeah. state because- We can do a whole other segment on that, yeah, can't we? So we actually have more bedrooms than we do businesses. Yeah. So that's a reflection of land okay. use, not any unfair advantage of, of businesses. And I, I would argue that you know, is it fair to businesses when residentials pay more because you've driven out the businesses because right. this is a hostile tax yeah. environment? Yeah. So it, that that argument doesn't Interest, carry water. Interesting. So um, obviously, pro we believe at OC Tax Proposition 13 sure. it really is is a, a hallmark for taxpayers for our state, and without it, you know, we'd be number one in everything. Everything. Like, everything right. uh, just yes. at least with with uh, property tax, we're lower than that. Uh, what should the taxpayers be looking for as far as threats to the to Jeez. Prop 13 be going away. Yeah, there's a lot of threats. There's that split roll right. threat that's a recurring, every, okay. every, like a bad weed comes okay. up every two year cycle. Uh, so it's the split roll. Um, certainly lowering of the two thirds vote is okay. a big ticket item for the tax and spend left. They would love to lower the two thirds vote for statewide taxes, for local special taxes. They would like to lower the two thirds vote for bonds. Uh, they've never liked the two thirds vote. But as we say, the two thirds vote is there to protect a minority and one definition of democracy is two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. Right. So, you know, so the two thirds vote is very important. Okay. And um, parcel taxes are a huge threat to yeah. uh, property owners today because uh, they're just, there's we're billions in being seen. Yeah, in and we're seeing a lot of that at the local level. Sure, um, sure. A lot of local, um, different local cities are trying to look at that for more tax increases for them. Right. And, and also, property related fees and charges, mm -hmm. we're beginning to see a lot of additional costs being shifted to fee structures. So your sewer bill and other utility bills, local governments are, they really want to put as much of the weight of government on these enterprise activities because those aren't as restricted as tax revenues. Okay, so if you were to just, uh, as we uh, wrap up here, if you were to look at the, the Prop 13 doubter that says it's not good for the state of California, it's not good for the economy, it's it's bad for um, new homeowners, how would you wrap it up with them? Well, I would, wrap, your... I, I, I would wrap it up by, by noting that prior to Proposition 13's uh, being adopted by the state of California, there was a UCLA economics professor who intoned that if Prop 13 passed, California would be plunged into recession. Well, Prop 13 passed and California saw its greatest economic growth because people had more money in their yep. pockets. So Prop 13 has been a godsend to both businesses and homeowners in the state of California, and we would be very foolish to change one, any aspect of Good. it. Good, amen. Well, thank you so much for being thank here today. Thank you, Carol, I appreciate it. If you're looking to get more information about Proposition 13, you can go to um, the OC Tax website. Um, you can sign our Prop 13 uh, support pledge, get our monthly newsletter, as well as other information about Orange County Taxpayers Association education, events, or membership. Um, or you can go to our Facebook page, the Orange County Taxpayers Association. We'll see you next time on OC Tax Talk.